of the new Justice League Snyder Cut teaser that just got released by Zack Snyder and I was uh, lucky enough to spoil it on Twitter because Twitter is not my place usually but at least I watched the tweet from Zack and like one or two people that I really care about what they are putting out but guys the trailer is gonna be released this Sunday on Valentine's Day so I'm gonna cover it and I am super thrilled that we have a few seconds to enjoy and to break down even before that, which I didn't actually expect. So without further ado, let's see those few seconds. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Okay, breathe, breathe, Gary, breathe. Uh, okay, so we have just like four shots, but they're pretty epic. And the music, by the way, is amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm just overwhelmed. Okay, I cannot imagine how I'm gonna be on Sunday, but okay, we have Steppenwolf looking absolutely amazing and epic. And yeah, the design is absolutely fabulous. I enjoy the goat. Everything in goat just looks amazing. And, uh, well, he looks like nothing else. Like, so unique. Amazing design. I really loved the first time when I saw the design. We got a glimpse of that Lex Luthor scene. BVS, that was like a deleted scene. But that's when we saw this design. It's kind of a bit different, I think. Uh, he looks a bit a, a bit like a more thinner. A thinner? Yeah, leaner. <laughs> Tina leaner. I mean, the main design is uh, kept. So it looks like he basically creates the Omega symbol, like marks the earth for the arrival of Darkseid. At least that's kind of like my theory. Maybe Steppenwolf is scouting out different worlds and marking them so then Galactus can come and conquer or something like that. Just, just a theory, guys. I mean, I don't know if um, Steppenwolf is a bit like the Silver Surfer uh, kind of a guy who investigates and um, just marks worlds for destruction uh, in the in the similar way how you know Silver Surfer does this for Galactus. Just a suggestion, you know. I'm just thinking out loud here. Or maybe this is like in the same time where they both came to Earth. That's also a possibility. Now this is of course the Batmobile and Batman is shooting probably at the, you know, the, uh, I totally forgot their name now. How are Darkseid's minion code? The, uh, the, the something. Tell me. <laughs> I forgot. Damn it. I can't believe it, I forgot. And I watched all the DC animations and I totally forgot. Just came, like, through my mind. Parademons! Thank you, dear Ivy, thank you. Parademons. So, he's basically shooting at the Parademons. Now, remember, guys, that although there's some shots that look similar or the same as uh, the original Joss Whedon Zack Snyder release, Zack Snyder released just when you know what I mean even if some shots look similar or the same that is just because well the color correction is not gonna be the same but that is just because Joss Whedon used already shot material from what Zack Snyder well photographed literally his material so that is the only reason that you can see something from the Joss Whedon version but from the Snyder Cut, he's just gonna use whatever he shot. So that is important to, to note because a lot of people still seem to be confused about Oh, this is gonna be like the same movie with few additional shots? Like, hell no, this is gonna be like totally different movie. And all the shots that were ever filmed only by Zack Snyder will be shown. And he has a lot more on the table that he hasn't shown. And I think that he did some reshoots after all. And some voice acting from the actors for different scenes. I mean, we're going to know about these things maybe at the end. And he also explained some uh, very interesting details in Grace Rando's interview. So if you haven't seen that, she 
did at least two, I think, interviews with Zach and he revealed some awesome things and how he works like real time on it. He was basically in front of his computer opening up the movie and he even showed like a distance, distance shot, you know, that was pretty amazing. Okay, so what we see here, by the way, is that God fight, you know, God's fight, the Greek gods against dark side's forces, Steppenwolf's forces, you name it. I'm not sure who is that God supposed to be, but it's someone with the bow. Okay, Wonder Woman is obviously fighting with her shield and this is one of those shots that uh, we did see in the previous movie, at least the setting or the place that this scene is taking place is the same. But the shot itself, like literally the shot itself, this movement that she does, I don't think I've seen it exactly that. Artemis! Oh, thank you, yeah. My might be Artemis, that's what I mean. I'm thinking about Xena and how Xena basically killed Artemis with her own arrows. That was amazing. Spoiler alert. <laughs> But it's really like in season season six, I think, or season five. Wow. Um, wow, it's been a long time. I have to rewatch it. But yeah, it's at the end of the show almost when that happened. Okay. And finally, we see Black uh, Black Suit Superman. Although we did see that scene with uh, Jarvis. Jarvis, Jesus, Marvel is in my head. Uh, I'm watching uh, WandaVision uh, too much. So it's like, I mean, WandaVision is like on the, on the front of my mind at the moment. Although Jarvis is not there, but, you know, he, he kind of connects to Vision in a software kind of a sense. Uh, I meant Alfred. <laughs> Alfred and, uh, you know, Superman. So then we actually saw for the first time black suit, but now we see Superman in action. He's probably bad. He's probably mind controlled by um, by Darkseid. And that is it. I mean, he looks angry. <sighs> February 14. It cannot get here soon enough. And I'm actually very happy that they announced that the movie is now not going to be four parts, but it's going to be like full four hour movie, which for me is kind of preferable. I just like to sit, totally lose myself my whole afternoon to be like dedicated to the movie and, you know, four hours of my life just spent in this glorious way. I hope it's going to be glorious, but I don't have any doubts. I personally love what Zack Snyder uh, did with all the movies. I'm a DC fan since I was a kid and I never for once disliked anything actually that Zack did in terms of uh, Man of Steel, BBS. Uh, yeah, I know that some other people don't uh, like the movies, but I personally just love them. I, I just understand them. I understand where they're coming from. So just goes to show you that you can be a DC fan from since you were a kid and still love uh, what is done now because I do think that he understands Superman, he understands Batman and when you bring those characters to life in current times, in modern times, this is just the most realistic way to do things in the same time keep all the powers and magic and all of those things that are floating around and are a part of the DC universe since since the beginning and in general. He just, you know, takes a bit of a darker spin on it. But I think that that is not because for the sake of being dark, but it is uh, in order to present a bit of more realistic presentation. And, and, and that is a bit darker. I mean, that means a bit darker. Yeah, Parademons flying around or... Well, I think those are, looks like, well, yeah, parademons for sure. Some other gods, I think, fighting the parademons. You can't really tell that fast. Uh, who has wings and who doesn't have wings? But yeah, that's freaking amazing. So I'm just gonna stop it here. Or he here? <laughs> I can't really see his eyes. It's interesting because... In Man of Steel, his, uh, um, his laser vision, laser vision, I'm still on Wanda, <laughs> ah, Wanda vision, laser vision, his uh, hit vision was a bit more red, like a lot red, here is more fiery, if you notice that, oh, yeah, that, that's a good stoppage, yeah, 
Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman. <laughs> yes, that's the only thing that I missed to say. Wonder Woman. So guys, that's gonna be it. My live trailer. Well, it's teaser reaction and breakdown. Okay. We're gonna have to see each other when this trailer drops on Sunday. So, are you excited, guys? Are you excited? Because I even can't believe that this is happening <laughs> in the first place. Still can't believe it, but it is. It's historical event and unprecedented thing that uh, we all as fans managed to achieve together, united. So, it just goes to show you that to be united especially in today's times or in general just don't forget you know do not forget to be more united than divided i mean can can do wonders literally wonders like thing, things that never happened before so this is just uh, this movie just gonna become the symbolism of that and i really hope that is good and amazing and i'm happy i'm happy that we we are getting what we wanted and Zach uh, and his wife Deborah Snyder they're both amazing in my opinion they also get their chance to bring us what their original vision was so extremely happy about that guys yeah more united than last time like Greg you said will say thank you dear Ivy dear Clayton Dido for be present here in this uh, live premiere and reaction. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like to support me, you can check the links down below to my OnlyFans and Patreon and PayPal, whatever you wish. Till next time with me, Gary G Reviews. Bye-bye.